Hi guys, today we're going to do a follow up on my last video, which was about a simple programming trick to allow you to rearm in flight straight away, no questions asked, without having to remove any of the safety features in iNav. So there were a few questions um, in my comments section, so we're going to go over those in this video. Right, so you may have noticed the tripod. I'm trying something a bit different today, so if the sound is a bit dodgy or anything like that, I apologise. But basically what I'm going to try and do is simulate the flight with the Mini AR wing, wherever it is, up there. Uh, I've got the camera, which is usually on my bench there, so we'll be able to watch what the AR wing is doing, which is now beeping at me. Sorry. We've got GPS and everything, so that's why it's by the window, so I can get GPS. We have the OSD coming through here, which I can get up on screen, so I'll be putting that up big so we can see what's going on. So the first thing that I was going to go over briefly was why we don't want to disable the extra safety stuff. Because uh, someone posted, I disable it, I'm safe, I don't care basically which isn't really true that they are there for a reason they are there to keep people safe they are there to stop people getting their fingers chopped to pieces which has happened google it you'll see lots of horror pictures of people with their fingers sliced from props so it does happen why remove the safety so i thought i would just briefly cover that again so the first one is the nav extra arming safety off so this one should really be self-explanatory if you turn that off you can arm without a gps lock meaning you've no home position stored meaning if you do return to home it's not going to do anything you could have a flyaway so you know why would you ever want to do that it's really really self-explanatory the other one was the uh disable kill switch the mini ar wing at the moment has got that uh kill switch disable turned off so what i'm going to do now is show you another reason which i did sort of explain in the previous video but this is another reason why that is not a good idea to disable right now we have nine i think satellites maybe 10 so we're good to arm so what i'm going to do now is illustrate why the disable kill switch off is a bad idea so it's arm and go flying armed flying. <laughs> So I'm going to bring the cruise throttle down with about 10, about 26% throttle. I know that this is probably not a, you know, what people are going to be cruising at, but I just want to try and get it quieter so I can talk over the microphone. But what I'm going to do now is accidentally knock the disarm switch. Now that's something I've never actually done as far as I know myself. It's, um, I don't turn the kill switch on, so if I accidentally disarm, I know about it. What I have done in the past is gone to move like a flight mode or something else and click the disarm switch, which is, you know, it's not accidentally bumping it, but there are plenty of people who say they accidentally bump it. And if they do, this would be such an occasion. So they accidentally bumped it, but you can see on the OSD, I know I'm sort of pointing at my monitor, but there's no system message there's nothing whatsoever to let you know that the switch is in now in the disarmed position so you're flying along doing whatever you want your switch is disarmed but the model isn't so let's fast forward in our flight maybe 15 20 minutes in you could have a mini crosswind it could be an hour further along and you decide that you want to lose some altitude so you're going to just reduce the power and then all of a sudden, the model disarms. But because you disarmed some time ago with the switch, you've no idea why. All you've done is lower the throttle. It's not like there, there's a, there is a setting in iNav that if you have the throttle low for 10 seconds, it will disarm. But by default, that's turned off. It never used to be, but it is now, which is a really good thing. But you've lowered the throttle, you've disarmed, 
and you know you wonder what the hell's going on so you obviously have to rearm and then you can go but my point is you've disarmed and you won't know about it until you lower the throttle well surely it's better just to know about it at the time get it fixed and then fly in a normal way for the rest of the flight so that's w another reason why the disarm kill switch is not a good idea so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn that back off quickly at the bench and then i'll come back and show you the programming in action hey guys we're back so what i've done now is i've set the cli i've turned the disarm kill switch to on so if i flick the arm switch it will disarm no matter what and i've also made sure that the extra safety arming is set to allow bypass so if i'm on the bench i can your right and do the arming switch and i can test things but in most normal circumstances it's as if extra safety arming is turned on um, and i've added the programming and what i've also added there see this g0 and zero that is a global variable so when i flick the switch to simulate the flight in the programming that will change to one which means that the extra safety arming uh, is disabled and then zero is off so it's as if it's normal on the bench right so what i've got here is the transmitter so what i'm going to do first is show that the uh disarm kill switch is off so if i arm raise the throttle if i disarm it kills it instantly and if i try to arm again it won't because my throttle is high i have to do that and then we can arm again same with if i go flying see if we can get it in something like altitude hold so altitude hold if i disarm if i try and arm again it won't because the throttle's high and it won't because it's an altitude hold but it will if it's in acro or angle so we, we know this is the base setting with the uh, safety turned off so now what i'm going to do is the same test again but i'm going to sim simulate the programming working as in the video so i'm going to use the test switch to show it working so we'll we'll arm we'll fly we'll go in altitude hold we're flying so i'll set that to one so you can see on the osd down here it's on one i'll disarm which it is disarming which is what we want so we know that it's instant but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to rearm and we carry on as normal sorry i'll just disarm um just to keep the noise down but you can see we're in altitude hold i didn't even lower the throttle i just did the arm switch everything came back to normal so that's that working you can see it working in a nav mode so let me just turn that back off it's me again um right so in a few moments i'm going to show a couple of examples of the switch working and what you might notice is the auto launch is staying active so it, when i was recording this video i was thinking that it's possibly a bug and i was going to investigate it further so what i'm actually going to be saying in the video is something about oh i shouldn't be doing it blah blah blah, blah. it's not actually the case so the problem with what i'm doing here is that it's actually sat on my laser <laughs> it's not actually flying so what you'll have happen is when you're flying you're going to be over and above the auto launch threshold so what will happen is when you disarm if you've got auto launch enabled whether it's on the switch or whether it's permanently enabled once you rearm again it should be above that threshold so auto launch will basically start so what you can do at that point is move the stick left and right for your you know roll or pitch and that will cancel the auto launch straight away in the very very slim chance what happens on the video happens to you in flight which 
will only be if you're flying very slowly so you're not above that g-force threshold all you need to do is lower the throttle wiggle the pitch or roll and then raise the throttle again and you'll fly again so just to let you know that what what happens here isn't what would happen in the air in the air it will all be fine if you want even less things to worry about if you've got auto launch on the stick once you're in the air switch it off then you can disarm and rearm as long, you know, as much as your heart content and you won't have any issues at all but just to let you know that this test isn't as good as it could be ideally i would like to be out flying it but the weather has been absolutely terrible and i'm also in a tier 4 lockdown which means i can't really go out flying anyway so sorry about that but just to let you know that it will all be fine and now someone actually asked what about auto launch so i have launch on a stick on, so we're in auto launch i'm going to arm raise the throttle so that's my idle throttle Let's do the bad shake and bake all right we're launching i'll probably have to come out of it because obviously we're not going to reach the altitude but i'm going to leave our oh, altitude holds on sorry right so i lower the throttle just so i can talk to you um i'm going to leave auto launch enabled so i've not touched this stick or this switch but i'm going to change this switch which will simulate again the programming that we're flying so notice the global variable has turned to one so auto launch is still enabled i'm going to put it in altitude hold so we're in a uh, navigation mode as well i'm going to disarm and i'm going to rearm and we're back flying so sorry, sorry, sorry. It's, it's it's just pretty loud so that's with auto launch on a switch which is how i use it but what i'm going to do now uh i'm just going to do the test uh alexander said that it works fine anyway if you have it permanently enabled but i'm just going to set it up now just to prove to you guys that it's all fine and that this is really the best way to have a nice rearm with keeping all the safety options available for you so i'll be back shortly all right so while we're just finding gps um i'm going to keep auto launch in the off position on the stick on the switch sorry it is permanently enabled now i'm going to turn that off so we're on the ground now i believe all i need to do is arm raise the throttle there we go now we're launching again right let's flick that because we're flying and i'm just gonna exit out of auto launch with that because i've got a height limit set on my auto launch settings not just a time limit so again i'm gonna put it onto altitude hold auto launch is permanently enabled I'm going to disarm and I'm going to rearm there we go so I hope firstly that the sound was okay on this video because as I said this is all a new setup um trying to get this working for you guys and I hope this answered any questions you had about that method of doing it as you can see it's it's so simple you don't even have to think about it just set up those two lines of programming which i'll pop up on the screen now and that's it if you accidentally disarm you know you've disarmed but you know you can rearm instantly without having to touch anything i've forgotten one actually so before we do go let's go flying again so i'm going to disable auto launch so i can just get flying and auto trim disarm rearm auto tune oh sorry it's on all it's auto launching still well that's interesting you have to wait for auto launch to finish 
to me that looks like a bug. So let's go for a fly again. All right, let's cancel the auto launch, go flying. Auto trim, or right, auto tune this time. Disable, fly again. You can see it's come back up, but we're in auto launch. So I'm gonna lower the throttle, wiggle the sticks, and we're back in auto tune. But you can see still that the actual rearming works perfectly. So thank you very much guys for watching. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe and click the bell icon and all that good stuff just to get this video out to more people. And play your models like you stole them. Have a great time. See you next time.